it seems like a Kadosh Baruch Hu is closing the store. And by that I mean, you know, we've already known that we're in the end of days for some time. But as you get closer and closer to the end, a lot of things that uh, we took for granted, or perhaps things that were going good, uh, start going the opposite end. Now, as I mentioned to you guys a few times over the last couple of months, especially in the last month, a year ago, the world was in relatively good shape. People were doing great financially. The market was at all-time highs. Uh, the, uh, the economy was doing fantastic worldwide. Uh, the uh, Jewish people are, have been uh, at a state where they're the richest they've ever been since the time of Shlomo HaMelech. Uh, the, average, the average Jew is complaining, not because he doesn't have money. The average Jew is complaining because he feels like he should have even more. You know, I only made 150,000 last year, only, only, only 150,000 last year. He doesn't realize that five years ago, he was barely breaking 40,000. Now he's making 150,000 and he's complaining. Rabbi, it's barely 10,000 a month, you know, 12,000 a month. Rabbi, who could live on such a thing? I don't know, 90% of the world. But the point is, Rabotai, is that people got comfortable. A lot of people made money in the stock market, in real estate market, in all types of shtuot, like bitcoins, and all types of cryptocurrency, uh, making money off of Amazon, selling stuff, eBay. People have made money from all types of things over the last several years. It's good news and bad news. Good news is, all that is about to end. Bad news is, all that's about to end. Why is that good news and bad news? The bad news is, is because obviously people are going to have to readjust their life. Good news is, is that this means that we're a little bit closer to Mashiach. Now, that being a little closer to Mashiach is also bad news though, for some people, if you're not ready. We have to do Ishtadlut to keep our life safe. Of course, life and death is in the hand of Hashem. However, although life and death is in the hand of Hashem, a person can bring death on himself by his choices, even though it wasn't Hashem's plan. And uh, don't expect uh, if something will happen to you, then you can come to Hashem and say, it's not fair, why, did you why didn't you save me? You don't have schuyot that I'll make a clear miracle for you. You go where the lions are and you want me to make the lions numb? Don't go where the lions are. And if Hashem will make you a miracle, it takes away from your merit. It cleans from your account. So one way or the other you lose. We have to do Ishtadlut. Now a Kadosh Baruch Hu says to the sages, the son of David, the Mashiach, will not come until the entire kingdom converts to heresy. All of the leaders are going to be heretics, meaning people like uh, Avigdo over here, and the woman of the wall, and the New York Times, and CNN, and all of these Rashaim, they're going to be in control before Mashiach comes. Meaning, the fight's happening right now, if the good side doesn't win, or the lesser bad doesn't win, don't be surprised, this means we're closer to Mashiach. If we had a Muna, it would never break us. When you have a Muna, you know this world is a blink of the eye. My job is to focus, to gain as much as I can. Anyway, soon I'm moving on. And nothing will break me. Problem is when you don't learn Torah, you don't listen to strong Musa talks, you don't read the right books, you don't have the right rabbi, then what happened? Your ideology becomes crooked. Your lifestyle become crooked. Your friends are not what the Torah wants you to have. You give your children the wrong education. Everything in your, in your house is 50-50. Nothing is exactly the way the Torah wants. No wonder how everything collapses sometimes. But if you have a Muna, nothing breaks you. Bezat Hashem, more and more people choose the right thing to do because that's what the Gemara says to us, Rabbi Eliezer ben Hokinus, says to us, what is it going to be that's going to save us 
from the Chavne Mashiach, from the, the uh, birth pranks of Mashiach, says Torah and Gimut Chasadim.